Well, a 90-day blitz to clean up Lower Price Hill is wrapping up this week, but uh, work on one of the city's poorest neighborhoods is going to go on all summer. And today, people there celebrated what may seem like a pretty small thing to many, but it's a game changer in Lower Price Hill. They cut the ribbon on a new laundromat. Local 12's Joe Webb was there. He joins us live with the story. Joe? Well, Brad, in 30-some years of covering the news, I've never covered the opening of a laundromat, but the washing well, which you can see behind me on Neve Street, is not your typical laundromat. 90% of the people who live in Lower Price Hill rent. Most of them don't have laundries in their buildings. Many had to take their dirty clothes on the bus to get to a laundromat to wash them, but no more. And this is just one of the many things that are happening to help break the cycle of poverty this summer, one of Cincinnati's poorest neighborhoods. They cut the ribbon today on what they're calling a social enterprise. The Washing Well is a nonprofit laundromat run by Community Matters. With grants from Impact 100 and Procter & Gamble, they were able to build a first-class laundromat that will give two locals a job and an entire neighborhood a break. If you have to take your laundry outside the community, and it adds an extra cost. So just on the laundry affordability front, it's going to help families with their monthly budget. On the heels of the city's 90-day blitz to clean up the neighborhood, the washing well also turns a vacant eyesore back into a community asset. For most of its life, this corner of Neve was the Reeser Drugstore. And the Reeser girls were back today and thrilled. The place their father and grandfather worked was brought back to life. I just feel like, you know, they're, they're still living through this building. The washing well is just the first of many projects targeting Lower Price Hill this summer. In July, 300 volunteers from the Reds Community Fund, Procter & Gamble, and the zoo will hold their annual community makeover here. This vacant lot, a half block from the washing well, will become a community garden. They will bring new life to Evans Fields. And they will also bring back the old SP Boys and Girls Club on Glenway. We're working with them to renovate it as a part of our July 28th makeover and uh, Santa Maria Community Services will be moving into that new space. A lot going on, a lot more work to be done, but they are making progress. We still have one of the highest poverty rates in Cincinnati, one of the lowest life expectancy rates in Cincinnati, and people are ready to change that. And not only, not only is the washing well open, it will also serve as a community meeting place, not just a laundromat. The goal is eventually, Brad, to turn it into a worker-owned cooperative that sustains itself and makes a little bit of money. A lot of work ahead for the people of Lower Price Hill, but they're getting a lot of help and a lot going on this summer. Brad? That's yeah, good stuff, Joe. Thanks very much. That laundromat is going to be open from 10 in the morning until 8 o'clock at night.